Hi, I'm Owen from Square Balloon, and today I'm going to show you how to share your Outlook calendar. And I'll tell you there's two reasons why this is really useful. Um, but the main one is that you can look at other people's calendars. So just now I actually needed to, um, I had a call and someone said, can one of my staff members turn up at a meeting? And I actually couldn't check the calendars because they haven't shared it with me. So it's really useful would have been for me to just be able to look at their calendar quickly and say, they've got this on, they've got that on, they've got another meeting or whatever it is. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it, it's really simple. So I'm on my calendar and I come up the top to share calendar and I choose my calendar so I have a couple of calendars here but I only want to share my calendar so I'm going to do that. Then the next thing to know is to which permissions you're giving them. So if you can view when I'm busy that basically means they don't know what you're doing they just know that you're busy at that time. So as you can see in my calendar I actually have bookings for lunch, uh, added by Viva Insights. Um, but it's been useful to have lunch booked out, I suppose. But if they could see that I was busy or at lunch, okay, it's nice, I do need to eat, but I can have lunch an hour before and I can have lunch an hour after. If they can only see that I'm busy, they don't know if that's a call with my most important client or, or anything else. So I don't think I would put that for most people in my organisation. There might be some, like my mum, for example, who I would just say, yeah, busy. She doesn't need to know details. Um, so this one allows them to view the titles and locations, which is probably enough most of the time. And this one can view all details, so that means they can double click on it and see any notes or anything else that's inside it. Um, I do use notes quite a lot. I don't think my employees will always need to see it, but I don't really mind if they do see it either. So I'm gonna click that one. Now I'm gonna click on add, and I'm gonna type in a team member's name or email address. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to click OK again. And that is that. So that will now send them a notification telling them that they have access to my calendar. Now the next thing to know is that um, you don't have to see the calendars all the time. So if I tick this one, you now see that I have another calendar here. And if I tick this grey box, it will overlay it with my calendar. Now for a teammate's calendar, I don't really want to do that. However, as you can see, I support Arsenal. For the Arsenal calendar, I do want to do that because I don't want to book in a meeting when there's an Arsenal game on because if it's a home game, I'll be attending. So I'll keep Aaron's calendar separate, but it's still important to know you could possibly use that feature. Uh, and that is that. And I don't actually need to see Aaron's calendar most of the time, so I will simply untick that and it will give me back my normal calendars. And I think this is a really useful feature, so I hope you use it too. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out any more of these types of things, just let us know in the comments, and we'd love to see you subscribing to our channel.